Caro can defense, accelerated Panov, modern variation. Sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. White played a bit better than black in the opening. Both players navigated the middle game well. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. Opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. In the Karo Khan defense, c6 supports a quick d7 d5 pawn push to control the center and challenge the e4 pawn. c4 controls the d5 square again, and allows the knight to develop behind the c pawn. d5 takes space in the center and attacks the e4 and c4 pawns. Cx d5 captures the pawn on d5 and attacks the c6 pawn. Cx d5 captures the pawn on d5 and attacks the pawn on e4. X5 captures the d5 pawn and controls the important e6 and c6 squares. It is best. Nf6 develops the knight toward the center, attacks the d5 pawn and controls the e4 square. It is best. This develops a queen off its starting square, getting it into the action. This blocks the check from an opposing queen. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. This prepares the bishop for development. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. This fianchettos the bishop by placing it on a powerful diagonal. The bishop is ready to be developed to an active square. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This develops a knight off its starting square getting it into the action. This threatens to fork pieces. This prevents the opponent from being able to fork pieces. This protects the attacked pawn. It is the last book move. This permits the opponent to develop a piece while also winning a tempo on a knight. It is a mistake. There was only one good move there. This overlooks an opportunity to develop a piece while also winning a tempo on a knight. It is a miss. This overlooks an opportunity to develop a bishop off its starting square. This allows the opponent to develop a piece while also winning a tempo on a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This develops a piece while also winning a tempo on a knight. It is best. This moves the knight to safety. This threatens to attack a trapped bishop. It is best. This is the only move that works. This stops the opponent from being able to attack a trapped bishop. It is a great move. This allows the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a rook. It is an inaccuracy. This attacks a rook, winning a tempo when it moves away. It is best. This wins time by threatening a bishop and forcing it to move away. It is best. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is good. Recaptures. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to centralize a knight so it controls more squares. It is an inaccuracy. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Takes back. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. This misses an opportunity to add a defender to a vulnerable bishop. It is an inaccuracy. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. It is good. This kicks an opposing knight. It is best. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to reveal an attack on a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. Very precise. It is best. That's fine. It is good. This ignores an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. Right on target. It is best. Black was worse off, but now they are in a losing position. It is an inaccuracy. White still has an advantage, 
but they no longer have a winning position. It is an inaccuracy. This is a fair move. It is good. This doubles the rooks onto a single file, which allows them to team up to create threats. It is excellent. White was better off, but now their position is winning. It is an inaccuracy. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This is the strongest option. It is best. One of the best moves. It is excellent. Black was worse off, but now they are in a losing position. It is an inaccuracy. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is excellent. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. It is best. A solid choice. It is excellent. This takes an open file, a common method for activating a rook. It is excellent. This ignores an opportunity to add a defender to a vulnerable bishop. It is a mistake. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is excellent. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is good. This is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. This is the start of the end game and white is equal. It is best. This evades the check from the bishop. It is best. This threatens to win material. It is best. This wins a pawn. It is best. Takes back. It is excellent. This moves the rook to safety. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. A very strong play. It is excellent. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. It is best. This captures a vulnerable bishop. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. Sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. White played a bit better than black in the opening. Both players navigated the middle game well. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. Takes back. It is best. Sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. White played a bit better than black in the opening. Both players navigated the middle game well. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. 